Good morning and welcome aboard Harmony of the Seas. My name is Steven and today we're going to be setting sail aboard Texas's largest cruise ship ever. She is 18 decks tall. She has 2,700 cabins, seven neighborhoods, a 10 story slide, a carousel, a zip line, and so much more. Today we're going to be setting sail on an eight night cruise. So not seven, but eight beautiful nights aboard this ship. So much to do with so much Time. Generally, she runs seven night cruises from Galveston to Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Roatan, but this sailing is special. It's a rare sailing where she takes eight nights and she goes to Cozumel, Nassau, Bahamas, and Coco Cay. So this is going to be really exciting. We don't get to see this itinerary very often, but today we have a special for you. So let's go ahead and take it all the way back to the beginning where we boarded the ship. We're back in the Galveston terminal. We've taken a shuttle here. We're ready to get aboard. First, we gotta go through check-in and we gotta go through security. We'll check back in as soon as we're through. But we're back in Galveston here at the Royal Caribbean terminal. Super exciting, let's go. Thank you, welcome aboard. Thank you. Already like that, we've made it through check-in. Took about 15 minutes check-in security. And now we're already walking on to the beautiful ship to our left. Let's go. And off to the right, and you can always take your first photo before you get aboard. But uh, we'll be bypassing and just going straight for the ship. Moments away from stepping aboard. Oh, we're on board. And like that, welcome aboard the Harmony of the Seas. We're getting put right into the Royal Promenade. What a massive and great way to walk aboard. The balloons are out, the people are aboard, the music is playing, welcome aboard. What a great way to start. But first thing we have to do is we have to go check into our muster station, which is always an important thing to do. We're located over at the theater, us personally. But it is important to get that done, the electronic muster. You just gotta go find out where you are to meet in case of an emergency. Get check in, prove that you know where you're going, and then go from there. It's a quick and painless process. Just get it done as soon as you get aboard. I don't have to talk about it. I talk about it every time we get a cruise. So let's just knock it out real quick. All right, you got me? Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Now that we know where to go in case of emergency, the rest of the safety process to watch a video on the app, which we'll do right, off camera. Done. Then the second thing we like to do is head to the dining room and get our dining reservation set up for the rest of the cruise, get our table, get all that sorted, just so we have the peace of mind when you show up for dinner, everything will be set. And then the last thing you wanna do is go and set your show reservations because show reservations are required to go to any of the shows. You can walk in, but it's better to have a reservation. We already set that ahead of time so we don't have to deal with that. But if you didn't recommend heading down, I believe it's over in Blaze or whatever it's called, there, there, that's what it's called. That's where you need to go, get your show reservations take care of or do it on the app. But either way, we're all sorted with that. So we're gonna go get our first meal aboard and that's gonna be Boardwalk Dogs. Good way to start off, just a simple hot dog, quick and easy so that way we can go and explore more. We watch your videos all the time. Oh, do you really? Yes, we do, we oh. love you. <laughs> What's your What's your name? Kelly, Joe, and Kelly. Joe and Kelly, nice to meet you guys. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys from? Texas? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we see you. Dad, I'm dad. Well, nice to meet you guys. Um, I was about to start eating. What a great way to start the cruise. Uh, Joe and Kelly, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Um. I don't know. That's all I had to say. Hot dog time now. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, boardwalk dog. Great, great way to start a cruise. Um, first flight of the cruise. At, we don't make it ceremonial, but we should. Ceremonial first bite, let's go. The reason why I suggest boardwalk dog is because it's quick, it's easy, it's painless. And basically, ultimately, when you're on a master ship like this, you want to just go and explore as fast as you possibly can. So that's the whole point of it. Everything we've done, get everything set ahead of time so that way you don't run into any hiccups. We're basically preparing to have a great cruise and then eat fast. Obviously, there's other options. You don't have to eat the hot dogs. There's plenty of other food options to eat right now, but this was just really, well, suddenly it's not busy. We're at trend centers, but a simple walk up go and then we can explore this ship. The ship is massive. There's seven neighborhoods aboard. So many things, 18 decks tall. We have a lot to get through in day one. So that's why we're eating fast and I'm talking way too much. So let's just go. 
So anyways, welcome to the Boardwalk neighborhood, which is an awesome neighborhood, by the way. They literally have a carousel here. I'm too old to ride it. Actually, I, anyone can ride it. Parents, grandparents, kids, it's for everybody, but it's a really popular thing right now, so we're gonna hold off on riding the carousel. There's a carousel on a cruise ship. If you didn't know that that was a thing, you now know. Congratulations, but there's more to the boardwalk, so let's keep going. But one of the coolest things about the boardwalk in general is that there are literally balconies, cabins, facing inwards. Now, I know most people would prefer to see the ocean, but these boardwalk balconies are actually slightly cheaper, and I think it's just a unique experience. If you cruise a lot, an ocean balcony can't get, I mean, ocean balconies are fantastic. We have an ocean balcony this cruise, but to have something change, to change it up like this, I think it's a lot of fun. If you have a family, bring them into the boardwalk. It's really cool. But the biggest thing on this ship is actually the ultimate abyss. The Boardwalk neighborhood is an epic neighborhood because it has so many fun and cool things. One, obviously we talked about the carousel, but two, the ultimate abyss slide, of a dry slide that is over 70 feet tall. You literally start from deck 18 and you come all the way down to deck eight or seven. It's like 10 decks tall. That is crazy. If you have a fear of heights like I do, then that is not one that you want to go on. I mean kind of crazy but then also there's a rock climbing wall right next to it I think Royal Caribbean's tallest rock climbing wall on you get pretty far up there too so for those thrill seekers you're in play but then also all the way in the back is the aqua theater which is really cool basically it's a Cirque du Soleil show a water show where they're doing high dives they're doing tricks acrobatics it's amazing it's worth a watch I think we have it booked for day two so we will be back here but I just really quickly want to talk about the boardwalk because it's a fun neighborhood but that's about it that's a lot but that's it there's gonna be a lot of talking of things that are on the ship just uh stay tuned well i guess as we're walking out i forgot to mention that there's johnny rockets and Sabor, but those are two restaurants that cost extra so good to know i guess so we decided to get out of the heat because it is hot outside and just step into the casino really quickly as a reference it is very smoky in here and it's you're not supposed to smoke and the less it's open it's not open it's closed and it's it's still lingering i'm not a big fan of smoking casinos but hey it is what it is if the majority of people want to smoke while they gamble then who am i to argue with that because i really don't gamble all too much or else i wouldn't be able to cruise all too much but as you look, as we're walking through the casino, because we can't walk through it and record while it's open, here's a quick glance. Now, it is a massive casino with tons of slots, with tons of tables. I don't donate my money to the casino too much, so I don't know too much about what's good, what's bad, but there's a brief overview of it. That, that'll be my entire scent of the casino for this cruise, because we're not allowed to record in here. But yeah, also, I think there is actually a non-smoking room. They do have it split, non-smoking and smoking side, but there's no real barrier between the two. It's just some machines on one side are labeled and the other machines are labeled the other way. So that's how they separate it out. But I think there's a dedicated room. We'll keep going on deck four. That's where we are, deck four. We'll keep going down this way. As we continue to the front of the ship, you will find the art gallery, Park Quest, where you can look at art. That's a thing on cruise ships. Has anyone ever bought a piece of art on a cruise ship? What was that experience like that? Please let me know. I've never done it. I've been to the auctions before just to tag along and my friend has bought like a cheaper piece, which is whatever. It's like a $40 piece, but some of them get to be like thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. So I'm just curious if anyone's ever done it, experienced it and purchased and how that all goes. Is it like legit? Is it numbered? Like what are, what are we doing? Is it the art here? Cause I feel like they just sent you a different piece of art from back at the warehouse, not whatever's on board. And they just rotate keeping the same pieces of art on the cruise over and over and over again. That's just my thought about it, but I may not know. Or maybe I do, I don't know. So we meet at a casino and over there, the attic, that's what it's called, the attic. That's where you want to get your show reservations. But they keep coming. Here is the small non-smoking casino that ha that we have here. Just a quick glance. Ooh. It is a small room. Um, maybe 20 machines, three tables. At least they have a non-smoking casino. I mean, not a lot of options, but at least they have it, right? Anyways, it's one o'clock now. The rooms have opened up, so we're gonna head on up to our cabin and give a quick tour of a balcony cabin. Especially on boarding day, the elevators are a little slow, so it's tradition time. It's time to hike all the way up. Except we're not going all the way to the top deck, thankfully. We're only going to deck nine of our cabin, but I feel like every cruise, it's not, I haven't started the cruise if I haven't gone all the way from the bottom to the top via the stairs. So, onward mush. Six, 
seven, eight, nine. Whew. Not that difficult. Just out of breath. And well, it's right here. We found our luggage. Yeah. Oh, nine, five, five, eight. Yeah. There we go. Sweet. Alrighty, welcome to our new home, 9558, a balcony cabin facing the ocean. Wow, I'm really dark. The 60 second room tour is starting now. As always, I like to start here in the front. Here's all your safety information. Your master switch for the lights does need a card. Mirror, hello me. Here is the bathroom. Oh, thermostat right there. Uh, toilet, sink, mirror, shelving. Here is a look at the shower. There is a dish tray for you. Own provided soap. <laughs> shower head is adjustable and removable. Uh, cold, hot, cold, on, off. Pretty decent size as far as the shower is concerned. Pretty good, actually. Over here, we have tons of closet space over here. Shelving, safe, decent size. Drawers down below. This bed can, this bed can be split into two twin beds. It's currently a queen. Here's your TV. Uh, also, only one US outlet on the right side of the bed. That kind of sucks, not both sides. Hangers, desk, mirror, two USBs, three US, one international, drawer space, mini fridge down below, chair, couch, balcony, two chairs out there, perfect view, and time. You know the drill. If you're new, if you're new to the channel, we do 60 second room tours because room tours can take quite a while when you want to get detailed, so we try to shorten them here on this channel. 60 second room tours because they're fun, they're a challenge for me, and I choke up on all my words. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it was fun. Check out the full room tour, link down below. As for now, let's go ahead and get unpacked, get settled into the room, and get ready for an amazing vacation. All right, we finished up unpacking, and now we're all settled in the room, so time to head up to the pool deck. Since we didn't do the full trek of the stairs, we're gonna finish the rest of it, though it's kind of cheating, not going from start to bottom. So nine to 15, let's do it. It's 11. 12, there's no 13, so we skipped straight to 14, and 15. Faster use the elevator, I guess. Welcome to the adult only area, the solarium. I mean, did I say pool area? There's not a pool in the solarium. There's jacuzzis, which is cool, but weren't so hot. That's a bummer. Why is there no pool here? But I guess at night, this is gonna be the hangout spot, maybe? I'm not really sure, but boo on the no pool. Made it back to the sports deck, which is on deck 16. So we got up to the pool deck. We went from the front delarium all the way to the back. Sports. And we got mini golf, zip lining, flow rider, and the ultimate abyss. That's where you get the board. You can see that tiny little ship. Boop boop. Way over there is the Carnival Jubilee. And we actually just got off that ship a couple hours ago. And I wanted to mention that my friend Nick J is actually aboard that ship. Uh, he's only on for the day because he works for Carnival, so he gets to spend his birthday doing that. So big shout out to Nick for his birthday. But um, why didn't he have his birthday when I was actually on board and I could have seen him and, and had fun with him and hung out with him? But no, he goes, when I get off the ship. So we look at the Carnival Jubilee very judgingly. Not because of anything the Jubilee has done, but because of Nick. Thanks, Nick. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, brother. Hope you had a happy birthday. I'll see you on one of these cruises one day. But anyways, back to exploring the ship. Just taking a break in some of the action from the uh, exploring. Found a nice comfortable chair in the shade. And we're just gonna sit down and relax. He's already out sleep, but gonna chill it out a little bit on this cruise. As we would like to celebrate your cruise vacation, which has just begun. Ladies and gents, I hope, I truly hope you're in a good mood, you're in a good vibration right now, as we are sailing away from Yamasin for an amazing eight-day cruise vacation.
single one of you down there in the Royal Promenade as we would like to get together for a balloon drop. That is going to be the main party of uh, the cruise and this is how we're going to start a cruise vacation. That is a true celebration of your cruise vacation. You won't want to miss this opportunity. If you're really feeling tired, my suggestion is going to be, of course, to take a power nap before that event because that is going to be at the midnight, okay? The midnight, we would like to see every single one of you down there in the Royal Command. Deck number five is like a New Year Eve, basically. We're going to get together, we're going to dance the night off, and we're going to end the event with the balloon trap. Lots of shows are coming your way as we're going to repeat ourselves every single day. All right, so we just finished up the Sail Away party. I will admit it is not the biggest party in the world, but the 30 of us or so that were on the dance floor, we were having a great time. The activity staff was out there. It was a lot of fun, but we are sailing away now. Uh, I didn't even realize this, but we started moving, leaving Galveston while we were dancing. So there's that. There's the pilot boat sailing right beside us, and Galveston is way off in the distance. So Galveston, we'll see you real soon. And like this, this cruise is already moving. We're on our way down to dinner. It's already 5 o'clock. I'm excited. We have traditional seating, so we'll be eating at 5 o'clock in the main dining room every single day. But we are going to look to see if we can change that up a few times throughout the sailing, give you guys something fresh, something different, and especially restaurant. But for now, let's get a great start in the dining room, and hopefully, they'll take me even though I am like perspiring like crazy. <laughs> Welcome to American Icon. Just got out of dinner. It was good. Standard Royal Caribbean fare. And uh, what better thing to do after dinner than to just go walk through a park in the middle of a ship. Welcome to Central Park. <sighs> nice and green and peaceful. to Studio B for an ice skating show. Tonight's featured show is 1887, A Journey Through Time. We'll see what that means, because I have no idea. The city is Paris. The shadow of the Eiffel Tower is just beginning to stretch over the Parisian landscape. We are in the middle of the Industrial Revolution. Aviation pioneers are starting to explore the skies. Our French novelist, Jules Verne, is at the height of his writing career, capturing the world's imagination with his novels, such as From the Earth to the Moon, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, or Journey to the Center of the Earth. The hardy Parisians are embracing the coldest winter in history. And they are partying, and they are enjoying the frozen river Seine. Even going so far as conducting a romantic wedding.
to the Montagues and the Capulets of Verona, to the love of young Romeo and Juliet. was talented there's a little more mistakes than normal but of course that just could be a bad day i'm sure they'll get better as the time as the cruise goes on but this show is definitely on the interesting side of things i can appreciate art and that's definitely what this ice show is a lot of the song selections i didn't recognize the songs to be quite fair maybe that's just a lack of taste on my part but they're not the most popular song choices either so the crowd enjoyed it though so can i say anything negative about it no but i was getting rained on this entire show uh, the condensation in this room has been like falling on me the entire show i just had a little rain cloud above me the entire time so i was a little distracted yeah i don't know the theme of the the show overall was interesting it started in france then we ended up in space and then we ended up in lava and then underwater um there's a few moments in time during the show where things kind of slowed down and paused for a minute and that was kind of awkward in some senses it just stretched a little too long and the uh but the projections were actually really good so i will give them on that i've seen some really interesting ice shows from royal this was not the worst of them for sure but the effects did look really good this is that's just army of the seas being a newer ship uh from 2017 or 16 so it just uh works a little bit better it looks a lot it looks really clean the projections so i'll give it that a little, a little too much for my liking but overall is it's a show worth going at least once will i come back and see it again probably not but hey it's not my liking but it could be yours though the worst thing about a show ending is the after part of it everyone is leaving and everyone is going everywhere no elevators only stairs but it's okay because in a few moments it definitely will clear out pretty quickly. And welcome to the Royal Promenade for the balloon drop. The way to start off any Oasis class cruise. We're on a massive cruise, so we have to have a massive start with a bang. Quite literally, because everyone's gonna pop in the balloons and it'll be quite loud. So let's get over there. Thank you. 
is directed by name is Steve. I come to you all the way from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Anybody here from Galveston, Texas, by the way? Because we always like to extend a very special welcome to the folks from Galveston, Texas. Because I know you guys took over five minutes to get here today. So we hope you guys are ready for a great time. But ladies and gentlemen, it's time to stop chanting and start counting. We're going to count down from 10 to 1. First evening, I decided to end it here in Central Park, which is, I'm going to be a little quieter uh, out of respect to the cabins above me, but um, the balloon drop happens at midnight, which is crazy that Royal Caribbean does any event that late at night, um, but it's always a great way to start off any of the Oasis class ships and Icon class ships with a bang. It, it really is a fun thing. It's a ceremonial thing. It's just how you know you're on vacation. Other cruise lines like to do sail away party as the big send off, but actually this cruise loves to do that midnight balloon drop. So it was great. The music was awesome. The balloons were loud, but I think that brings us to the end of the evening. Thank you so much for watching today. Tomorrow is a full day at sea aboard this beautiful Harmony of the Seas. So, We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully you have some action-packed things going for you. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see you real soon. Texas stuff.